All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. How are you? I'm doing all right. Let's just get back home. Yeah. Go talk to Dutch. Gonna get the police on me, isn't it? Jesus Christ! Glad I weren't the target. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Oh God. Okay, I guess he doesn't care. I thought he was very much gonna care. Yeah. God, that's a large bounty. is just sparse for deer, isn't it? Who's there? It's Arthur. Arthur coming in. Uh-oh, what's this? Stagecoach robbery with Micah, of course. But well, let's donate that skin to Pearson and grab some food. You'll freeze. Oh wait, no, I gotta be at the bench for it. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Arthur, yeah, I hear you. Come up here. I'm coming. Just make sure it goes into the pot, not your pocket. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Tilly. Hi. You doing all right, Abigail? I still can't believe that happened to Karen. Yeah, it's yeah. up. Bad business, oh, no. all right. We don't need you getting in no more trouble. Oh, no harm done. You know, I found a finger in my stew once. A lady finger. No, you didn't. Pearson tried to tell me it was a chicken bone, but I know chicken when I taste it. Oh my god. You got some guts, kid. That's for sure. Alright, let's make a little bit of extra Come here, money. Arthur. What do you want, Micah? What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old misery guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? The coach stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill, this is a death sentence. <laughs> There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. 
You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite. I got two pistols. I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not, Not really. really. Well, let's go. <laughs> so, I'm joking. Who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. No, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very Neither can true. you. Yeah, you're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. Oh boy, here he goes. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned. Challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Yeah, a little Everyone bit too much. Does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger out, Camp. Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, uh, that's different. See, uh, uh, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. Oh God, no! She okay. she's incredibly disgusted are. by him. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Oh, no, stay behind the tree. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. You're just standing there, though. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Is coming in. Oh, 
Okay, we're in the clear. Why me? Because I got the lead on this. And Williamson's a half wit. Hey! I'm how much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. Okay, a quick and easy job. Now we can go back and see Dutch. Where's that pig? Nope, not taking out to get meat. I heard heard a pig. This one's dead. What the hell does Micah want? Oh, it's just the skin. Okay. I, I can't actually uh, pick it up. At least I don't think. Can I pick it up? Nope. Okay, fella. Yep. Okay, so the mayor's mission is back. Screw it. We'll see what he needs. It's literally right next to the en exit and entrance to the city, so it's not that bad. Yeah, although I don't like three riders that close to the edge of the bridge like that. Inside we go. Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh, <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, 
I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. All right, looks like we gotta kill him. <laughs> Oh my god, it's porn. Oh, oh, my horse moved up over here. Okay. Saw that coming. Yeah, it's you. Yep, knew that was coming. The law were alerted. Oh, no, God damn it. Oh, now my horse appears where I left it the first time. Not about time I be. need uh, these. Why you want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <laughs> Quick and easy. Oh shit. Where the hell? Oh shit. Up this way. How did my horse get all the way over there? Really, you're stuck in the goddamn path. All right, can I get them? there? We go. I can get them on there. Nope, that's not gonna work. Son of a bitch! Come on, move. Thank you. Let's get. Come on. Come here. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, it's gonna put me out on the street like that? That's not fucking fair. Let's go, boy. See? Oh my god. Just in the middle of the street. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I need to get back into the property. Back into the property. There we go. 
keep getting stuck on plants. Okay, that didn't cause any trouble. Okay. It was an absolute ordeal. Quick, Miss Rather, bring him around the back. Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, uh, I've missed you, I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No, oh, Jean-Marc. We had to save you from yourself, don't you see? We'll look after you now, won't we, Miss... Here. Oh, just drop him? Okay. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... I promised to change. I know. Ah, uh, what well, a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh. How I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out about of it. me, buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux is a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. Just let me live and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on. Please. Please, come on. You want to shoot a sad little man, would you? Oh, shit. No, I didn't mean to do that. I might be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. Go 
on. You gonna go? Oh my god. Is it stuck? Wait, now I can't shoot him. Oh my god. Really? What if I just do this? Oh, damn it. There we go. Let's try that again. My brother, my brother, Jama. I'll destroy him, and I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please, please, come on. You wouldn't shoot a sad little man, would you? I might be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you my word. Oh shit. Well, that just happened. Okay, well, at least that worked. How many times did it take? Like three, three times? Or, uh, for the whole mission, at least. Let's, let's go, uh, let's go back. Where's my horse? Let's get out of here before everybody wakes up. Okay, so it probably it probably was a glitch because I shot him by accident and then chose to let him go. Let's, uh, let's grab this fox. Whoa, easy. Okay. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh God! Okay, no, no, no. That was lovely. Long time, boy. 
Back home we go. <laughs> Can't have one nice thing. Go, boy. Yeah. Oh, this is camp. There we go. Just drop this off. Take a nap first. And eh, you know what? Let's just go speak to him. Say hello. Hello, Dutch. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. So that's the second boat we're getting involved a with? boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. <laughs> well, do lead on. Okay, follow me. Whoa! Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. 
Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in Santa Anne in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. Ugh. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Okay. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur, Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be live. Mind there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Okay. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. All right. We'll check him. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Nothing. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. <laughs> Mr. Dutch. You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Oh, absolutely. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now, except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? 
Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. I mean, there's also the gators. They're not friendly. <laughs> Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. You clear to move? All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Yeah, maybe he got stuck. This trap is stuck in the mud. Sure. It happens. Uh. There we go. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Okay, lead on. These bayous got a lot of parasites, don't they? Hold up. No shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. <laughs> I've always wanted to try it, but never had an opportunity. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Okay. Search area is just up ahead. Is that a lantern over there? Jules! I can't really tell. No! Hey! Someone Yeah, there. it looks like it. Jules! No! Hey! Someone there! There he is. That must be him. Let's get you down. 
Be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. All right, let's get the okay. boat. Okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I got the skiff. It's over here. <laughs> Stuck. to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. All right. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Pull! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jules? Lose the boat. Arthur, go. Well, quick. Set up. Go on, Arthur. I'm coming. Okay. I think he's 
going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. We got you, buddy. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. Oh, God no. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Shit. Don't let him get any closer. Okay. I think we're in the clear. Okay. I think it's had enough. Now. Jesus. Can we get back now? You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. I weren't the one squealing. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well... Well, well, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we're probably going to try to kill off Bronte. I don't know. We'll see. But I thank so much for watching. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a file if you haven't already, and I'll be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.